thanks so much for joining in today. My name is Whitney Paradise, and I own a studio in town called Service and Creations. Um, I do all types of things, paint parties, work with adults, kids. So I'm so excited to do this uh, little tutorial with you today. Um, this is my second or third little tutorial now, so I feel like I'm getting the hang of it. Um, what I'm gonna show you and teach you is just something you would do if you were at my studio, um, if you came in for a party. But we know with everything going on, we've had to change a little bit with with things that are changing in the world. So I'm just trying to have a little fun with you and you can watch this little clip and paint your own, your own little painting by watching my tutorial. So you should have this same exact canvas. You'll have a sketch very similar to this. It's a cute little scene with a little lantern and then some birds. Um, I thought it was very appropriate for adults to paint just for something different. It's a little bit more advanced, but I'm gonna show you a simplified version of it, okay? You'll have all kinds of colors as well. Um, you'll get all your primary colors, and so you'll get a few extras as well. You'll have a plate, a few brushes. All you have to, to get for yourself is some paper towels and a cup of water. That's it, all right? So to get started, I always like to start with my background. You can see in this background, it's all different colors going on, but the base color I started with was blue. So I'm gonna start by painting around all the sections that I've drawn out for you. Now keep in mind, I'm a fast painter. I do things fast. You may not be as fast as me and that's perfectly fine, but you can do this at your own leisure and paint whenever you would like. If you get a little tired of painting, you can stop the clip and play it again later, okay? So, like I said, I like to go pretty fast, but I'm just getting a base color everywhere. Make sure you paint all your edges, okay? You want your edges painted to where your painting at the end looks complete and not unfinished. So what I'm doing is basing it with that bright blue color that you have. As you see, like it's not gonna be just like mine again, even though I'm painting the same exact thing, it's still gonna be slightly different. Okay, so it's nothing, it's just like the exact example. When you're doing something, I look at examples all the time to get ideas. And even when I draw it out, it never is exactly the same. And that's good. You don't want it just like somebody else's. So this just gives you an idea of where to go. All right, so now that we're getting blue in most of all our areas, and I'm doing my best to go around the pencil marks because you want to be able to still see those later, okay? So now that I've added on some blue, you can see in my background, it's very streaky, nothing is smooth, but that's the texture I'm going for. So I'm going to go now, instead of rinsing my brush, I'm going to go straight to my teal. And this is nice to do because your blue is still wet. So you want to go back in. I just do like little cross hatches, make little crosses, go throughout the rest of your blue, get a little bit more teal on there. Okay. Add it in. What does is it gives it a different color. When you mix that teal and blue together, it adds a little dimension and where it's not looking so flat anymore. I'm painting around my little birdies. Okay. And like I said, you'll be able to do this however you want. If you want to spend more time on the background, then take your time. I'm more of a whimsical painter, so I like to do things quick and see the outcome. So I, I get a little impatient myself. So this is what we're gonna do to start with that background. Now, um, just like I would teach kids, this is all your, all your colors here make other colors. If you don't have purple, mix red and blue together and you'll have a little bit of purple, okay? It gives you a purple tone if you wanna lighten it. Add a little bit of white in there to lighten it, okay? But I'm adding a little bit of that purple color that I made and I'm doing that same thing, I'm just streaking it. Now, if you want your paint to dry, grab a little hair dryer from the house and just give it a little quick dry. But it dries pretty quick on its own. This is acrylic paint, so you don't have to be, if you can be a little impatient like me, you wanna get it done quick, then grab that dryer out. But otherwise, with it being hot outside now, just stick it outside for a minute if you're painting outside and it'll dry in two seconds. So I've gone around all the areas that I need to paint that background. We're gonna clean your brush good. And we are gonna move on to the other big section. So you have a little bit of a brown color. 
This is your post over here. I'm just going in the sections of the post. And as you can see where it overlaps on the edge, I'm just painting that the same color, okay? So where you still have that brown covering the sides of your canvas. All right, so I'm painting your posts now. And now if you wanted a lighter brown color, add a little white to your brown. So we're gonna go now and we're gonna paint inside the little lantern with that same color while it's still on your brush. You're just gonna add a little bit on the top of the lantern and a little bit on the bottom. You can see on mine. Again though, this doesn't have to be just exact. You're just filling in the little spots right now and then we go back at the very end and, and add a little detail, okay? So your little birdies need to be sitting on something. So let's add a little brown. And this is a good example you see on mine. It's kind of bleeding in with that, with that blue in the background. I like that look. If you don't want that look, then that's where you would need to dry it. And then go back and add your brown on top, okay? So, also your little details coming off your lantern. There's little swirlies going on. Those are just your detail. And I, as you see, they're drawn on there for you. Okay? Now, if you wanted to add some extra, add a little couple more down there. If you're getting a little excited and wanna try it on your own, then just with your brush, add a little few swirlies coming off, okay? And if you don't like it, you can fix it. Dry it, cover it up with paint, and you're good to go. Just start back again, okay? So that's what we're doing on the brown. Now we're gonna uh, clean our brush good. We have our little birdies and we have our lantern left. So our little birdies, they have a little bit of blue in them, a light blue. So you would take your regular blue, go to a little bit of white, make it lighter. And again, if you don't want bluebirds, have a little red bird on there. Change it up, do whatever you would like. I'm going in and I'm painting my little birdies that are already drawn out for you. And I'm just going in and I'm adding a little bit inside their bodies, okay? Now, while I've got that light blue on my brush, I'm going to go back in to the inside of the lantern and give it a little bit of that light blue color. Still leaving some of the pencil marks for you so you can see, okay? So again, this looks like a little bit more advanced painting and as much detail as you wanna put in, you can. But if you wanna get the base covered just like I'm doing, it'll look like you spent a ton of time on it anyway, okay? So now I'm gonna clean my brush one more time and we're gonna go back in with just some plain blue and let's give those little birdies a little bit more color on top of their heads. You can see the birdies are, are facing different directions, okay? We're gonna add a little bit onto their bodies and you can see the way I'm tapping. Gives it just a little bit of texture. Birdies are a little fluffy and fuzzy. Have little feathers, so I'm just adding a little bit of texture to them. Okay, so now, what we're gonna do is detail. We've got all of our sections filled in. All we have to do now is detail. Detail is when we go back and add a little bit of white and black and it makes your painting pop, okay? So all I'm doing now is with my brush, going back and I'll lightly do it. Do not bear too hard down. Like sometimes with a Sharpie marker, you wanna bear really hard. Be very light with your brush and just barely go back over your little sections. Of course, you could make it darker if you like, but I don't completely fill a line in. I just go back and lightly with my brush, add a little bit of texture, and it just helps the dimension of your painting. So you can see your little lantern needs to be hanging from something. So let's add a little bit on that pencil mark. And if you've painted around your pencil marks, you'll still have all those there for you. Okay, I'm doing the same thing down on my lantern. I'm just filling in those little pencil marks that I had left. Now you can see there's little, looks like little scratch marks in your lantern. I add a little bit of black. 
Okay, now we need to bring those birdies to life. Let's go and add a little black to our birdies. And I know I'm doing this pretty fast. You guys do this how, whatever speed you would like, okay? Just giving you the idea of where to put colors in what sections, okay? So there's our little birdies. All right, now let's just make sure we've got everything outlined that we want with a little bit of detail. And now I'm just gonna go back and add a little white. You might be noticing that it's still wet, and I like that. When you go back over, if it shows a little bit of gray, it's because we mixed a little bit of our white and black together. That's okay, I'm all about playing with our colors. If you want to dry it, give it a quick dry, and you don't like the blended look, then go right ahead. It's perfectly fine. This is just a fun experiment. And now I'm just gonna go back in the background. And while it's still wet, maybe add a few little streaks of white in there. And it just goes with the flow of your whole painting, okay? Like you see, it's very whimsical, super rustic, but I love that kind of look. So now, guys, this is pretty much a finishing, the finishing of your painting. So again, it's a little bird scene, super cute. Um, you can change up your colors however you would like. But again, do whatever you want to. This is your painting and your own time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Again, I'm Whitney Paradise. Thank you so much for joining in and I hope you have a wonderful summer.